Today on Golf Destination, we learn about some more new products from this year's merchandise show. We meet a former Ryder Cup player who talks about his favorite swing aid. We meet a legendary golf instructor. Plus, we'll take you to a vacation destination. All of that and more next. Hello and welcome to Golf Destination. I'm Meredith Gorman from the Sociable Studios. We have a great show ahead for you. When we were at the PGA Merchandise Show, we met with a golf company that may be best described as a lifestyle company. Founder Jason Moore tells us more. The inspiration for True is back in 2010. I was actually caddying for my brother on the PGA Tour. Uh, my brother's Ryan Moore. He thinks outside the box, pretty alternative guy. He was trying to find footwear that uh, actually fit him well. He's developing some foot pain and early on in his career, and he thought, you know what, I've been working out in these natural, minimalist footwear, and it's been helping me. Maybe we can make a golf shoe like that, and we did, and accidentally started a company. True differentiates this product from the ground up. I think our shoes are designed and built different. Uh, we definitely offer a more natural platform that we believe to be more ergonomic and work more functionally with your body for the golf swing. Uh, and we also make shoes that are ready for anything that your day throws at you. We know the golfers likely to go on a hike or a walk or travel. Our shoes are built for that, but also perform at the highest level as evidenced by the fact that we have a dozen PGA Tour players that lace up our shoe nearly every week. True Lo no longer just makes shoes. Uh, we started what we say from the ground up. Uh, we felt like we put our 10,000 hours in, have really mastered our craft and footwear, and why not throw a new project in the works? Uh, we started and launched apparel. Uh, we didn't want to start from hour zero, so we brought in experts with 20 years experience, and we've tailored a line around the idea of the PJ Tour player's lifestyle. Uh, it should be top performing, high quality goods, made sustainably and ethically. Uh, that are versatile. You should be able to look good, you know, at breakfast and during your round and after your round too, uh, and not have to skip a beat. We, we are not just thinking about those few special hours we get as golfers each week, hopefully, to actually get out on the course, but we want you to live in our gear 24-7. You know, if you're packing your next duffel bag for your golf trip and there's nothing but true gear in there, I think we fulfilled our purpose. Well, we're founded in Seattle, Washington. It's a little punk rock and alternative up there. So our dead golfers a little owed to the culture that surrounds us. A little bit edgy, but also a, a, an homage to the game of golf itself. We like to say married to the game till death do us part. And uh, it's about our love for the game and our passion for it that, you know, uh, someday we hope uh, we get to play a little golf in the afterlife too. Thanks, Jason. Rick Smith is a golf teaching pioneer whose popular golf lessons in the 80s and 90s were airing before the advent of 24-hour golf channels and YouTube. We talked to him about the state of golf instruction today. I remember going out on the PGA Tour in the 80s and I had a camera that was that big and I had a stick that I used to use and I put it in the ground to video a shaft angle plane, basically. And, and I would see whether it was over it or under it, right? And then I used that shaft for different reasons and to influence where the club was moving. Technology's changed an amazing amount to a, a high level side of, of the fact that the data that we're getting from gears over here to you know, simulation to uh, ball flight you know, simulators and monitors, it's amazing what, what has happened. I mean, to a point where now you can measure your, your movement patterns, right to left, up and down, things that we never had, we could see it, but you can now measure it. So technology has been very amazing, and I think fitness is more significant, where people are realizing that they have to move better. As they get older, they move poorly. Their bodies go to pot, we all know that. And so there are preventative things you can do, plus there's ways to get more speed. You see different things that are on the market to help improve that. So it has helped grow the game for sure. I mean, and there are better players, there are more good players now than there ever were. 
the key is getting with somebody that you can really focus on you and what your tendencies are and work away from those. There's probably the biggest negative would be an overabundance of YouTube videos that don't pertain to your swing at all. And so you may get smarter as a, a knowledgeable person, but your game goes backwards because you're experimenting with the wrong things. So I think knowing your swing is as valuable as anything, because when you know your swing, you know what you need to work on, and that's the key. And I think you have to get with somebody that can sort through all this, all these numbers, right? And what is important, what isn't important. Because I've seen swings that are that I would change, that when I see them at impact, the impact actually looks pretty good. The post impact looks awful. There's pre impact that look bad. The point is that person, even though that number looks pretty good, it's they're not a very consistent player. They're not a good player. So there's some deception too, what you see with numbers. You can view golf destination content from the past as well as original programming on our YouTube channel at Golf Destination. Up next, we'll show you a website that is dedicated to improving your game. When Golf Destination, presented by Goslings of Bermuda, continues. Golf Destination is brought to you by Goslings of Bermuda. Dare to be happy. Duca del Cosma, Italian Golf Evolution. Avidia Bank, honest to goodness. Puka, be original. Robert Graham, be the shout, not the echo. Club Benchmarking, your partner on the path to data-driven leadership. Golf Destination is brought to you in part by Goslings of Bermuda, dare to be happy. Welcome back to Golf Destination, presented by Goslings of Bermuda. I'm your host, Meredith Gorman, from the Sociable Studios. If you want to get better at golf, there's an online destination for the latest and most effective training aids, backed by one of Europe's best instructors. Let's learn more. We're uh, a direct-to-consumer brand. Uh, where we have all our sales on online. We sell all over the world. Um, and we sell multiple training aid products for golfers, both teaching professionals and consumers. So we started because we thought we knew what kind of training aids to make. And one of the things we learned pretty quickly is that we are not the experts uh, on the technical side of the golf swing. So we partnered with a uh, renowned teaching professional over in the UK, Dan Frost. And Dan has kind of helped us bring a lot of our ideas to light and bring them to, bring them to life as, as new products. And we're also his exclusive distributor here in the U.S., uh, selling his Shore Golf products uh, in the U.S. You know, I partner with GolfTrainingAids.com. They're, they're the world's leading golf training aid supplier. They work with industry, so they have affiliate programs, but they also reach a huge audience of direct-to-consumer customer. The great thing about that is their service is excellent. They make products accessible, and they really take anything that's hot anything that's on tour, anything that's come to market, they're the guys to go to that have it first. So golftrainingace.com. The second piece is my company is Sure Golf. Sure Golf is a company that's a little smaller, but it really works on creating training aids that are sensory based. So trying to remove information, add sensation, and the perfect partnership between golftrainingace.com and Sure Golf, that's a synergy that we work together closely so that we can bring products from the UK over to the US and make them available for the consumer. We realize that golfers of all skill levels need training products, whether you're a scratch golfer, a teaching professional, or someone who's just learning how to play and it's a 25 handicap. One of the things that happened after the pandemic is, you know, a lot of people who never golfed before decided to take up golf. Um, and the other thing I thought was really interesting is we started making products now and we want to make sure that they're uh, we can use them in the house. You know, it's uh, you can't always get outside uh, to practice your your game and get better. So a lot of our products, like most of our products, we can use indoors. You know, we like a training aid to incorporate putting, chipping, swing. The more obvious it can be, the more valuable it can be for somebody, so they can work on lots of components of the game. The second piece really is the level of golfer. We create field-based training aids that allow good players to use them as a refinement tool, 
and the Weekend Warrior to use them as an installation. So they've got to be obvious, vivid, something you can work on by yourself, but also something where the messaging behind it is easy to understand. You don't want training days where you have to watch 15 videos, you have to read a book to be able to use them. It's very much plug and play. Eduardo Molinari has won multiple times on the European Tour and has worked with Dan Frost on his golf game. A lot of tour players have, uh, have used or tried or tested uh, sure golf products, uh, which all the things together, you know, it's a guarantee that the products are really going to work and help uh, everyone's game. I picked sure golf because uh, all the products are invented by a, a teaching pro. Uh, that's very important. All the products have been tested on, on gears, so they're uh, scientifically proven to work. I love the tour feel because uh, it helps me hit balls, feeling a lot of width on the way back and a lot of connection on the way through. And uh, that's a great feeling to have when you're playing golf. Uh, the tour feel helps me a lot making a better move uh, because when I wear it, when I'm hitting balls with it, it just instilled this feel of being very wide on the way back, but at the same time retaining the connection between the arms and the body. And then from there, I can just uh, make a big body turn and be able to hit the balls and hit like these little half shots that are great for, for my practice. The tour field helped me in all skill areas in my golf swing uh, because it's a very versatile uh, training aid. Uh, first of all, it's very important that I'm able to hit balls with it because then it's a, it's a real swing. And then secondly, um, I just like to feel when I'm playing golf, I just like to feel a lot of width, a lot of connection on the way down, a lot of body driven movement. And uh, this tour feel really helps me uh, get better at all those elements. Well, I like uh, Dan Frost products because uh, he's very methodical, he's very detailed in what he does. Uh, I know he's, uh, you know, he's been testing all these products for many, many years and uh, I haven't seen a product that, you know, doesn't work, doesn't help uh, your game. So it's a, it's a great person to be associated with and, and someone that I'm really looking forward to work with in the next few years. I trust the tour field because of all the training aids that I tried. It's definitely the one that gets me into my fields much quicker, much better. Um, I like to hit balls with it. Uh, not many training aids, you can actually hit real shots with them. And, and I can use this with my shorter irons, longer irons. I can go pretty much through the bag and it's just a great way to practice and get into my fields rather than, you know, just think about numbers or positions and then not really being able to hit the ball. You can view golf destination content from the past as well as original programming on our YouTube channel at Golf Destination. Up next, we visit a golf destination in a summer paradise, and we show you a simple idea that helps get you ready for your game. Club Benchmarking, your partner on the path to data-driven leadership. Welcome back to Golf Destination. I'm your host, Meredith Gorman from the Sociable Studios. If you are looking for a golf trip on Cape Cod, the Ocean Edge Resort in Brewster, Massachusetts is a fantastic golf destination. The golf course here at Ocean Edge is a fantastic Nicholas Design golf course. It's very playable for our members that play every day and interesting for our resort guests who have never been here before. Uh, we've got an excellent facility, 18 holes of championship golf. Uh, we've got over five sets of tees with three included combo sets, so there's a yardage for every player out there, every ability out there to come and enjoy our golf course here on the Cape. We are the only Nicholas Design golf course on the Cape as well, uh, which puts us in a, an exclusive class. On our golf course here, uh, we've got some interesting characteristics. We've got some undulation and some ele elevation changes, which you don't see a lot on the Cape. Some tee boxes that go down as well as up, uh, dips and valleys. Our fairways are generous. Our greens are a little bit tricky sometimes that we've got some uh, undulating greens, which makes putting a fun task when you're out there. So as our members and guests play our golf course, it's not just a, a grip it and rip it type of golf course. You've got to 
put some imagination and some thinking into how you want to play that golf course, you know, and the best is always from the green back. Think about where you want that second shot to land, where you want to play into that green. So as you're playing your driver, we have a few shorter par fours. You don't necessarily want to just take that driver, hit it as far as you can. You get a little too close to the green and then you can't hit a chip shot uh, close to make your birdie. So some of those you may have to look at playing, you know, more of a layup shot off the tee. Uh, and then playing that full wedge in so that you can hit it close, have that tap in birdie and move on to the next. Several of our par fives for the longer hitters, they can hit in two. Uh, it does take two good pokes to get there. Definitely from the back tees is, is challenging from those championship tees, but our members generally playing from the white tees, they have that advantage to hit driver and then weigh that risk reward. Do I go for it? Do I lay up? How, how do I have to do that? Their strategy definitely plays into how they enjoy the golf course and what they look for. With our sets of tees here, we've got the option to have eight different yardages, anywhere from our forward tees playing 4,800 yards back to our championship black tees that play just over 7,200. So we've got that availability for every skill level to play the yardage that they prefer so that they can enjoy the game. On our golf carts, we've got Visage GPS, which help you get around the golf course, showing you exactly what the contours of each hole are. So you've got that ability to plan out your round so you can think your way around this golf course, but it is right out in front of you. You know, there's no hidden tricks. You can see what you're looking at to play your way around this golf course in whichever fashion that you want. People's reaction when they finish their round and come into the golf shop, they always talk about the condition. You know, the condition here is great. We've got a, a fantastically manicured golf course. Our maintenance does a fantastic job of keeping it in shape year round. As our guests come off, they continually say how they enjoyed it. It's not like any other course that they've played, and that's what keeps them coming back. The PGA Merchandise Show has products both large and small, and sometimes the simplest ideas make the biggest difference. That's what we learned when we discovered the golf rope tucked away on the show floor. The golf rope is a product I created as a PGA teaching and coaching professional to help me along my mission of walking 18 holes when I'm 100 years old and to encourage others to do the same. People do not stretch enough, especially golfers, and it's because of a lack of information and a lack of know-how how to do it. And the golf rope is a perfect product to help those golfers stretch a little bit more often. As a, a, a golf fitness specialist, I actually did a research study that looked at the benefits of a five minute stretch before and after. We found that golfers who implemented a five minute stretch have a 5% increase in distance and a 10% increase in accuracy. Another cool feature is the exercises are so simple, but we want you to know how to do them properly. So we actually have built in a QR code on each one of our ropes that leads to our website so that you can do the exercises properly. Anyone can do them. So it's extremely easy and it's a, a very intuitive product. You can view golf destination content from the past as well as original programming on our YouTube channel at Golf Destination. Next, we learn about a golf accessory that is not for the serious golfer, but will make them look good anyways, when Golf Destination, presented by Goslings of Bermuda, continues. Golf Destination is brought to you in part by Goslings of Bermuda, dare to be happy. Welcome back to Golf Destination. The Clow Golf Company is a golf accessory line that wants you to have fun and for you to look good when you golf. This is the Clow Golf Company's debut product and we are going to be making a lot more products that are not out there yet for the Plus One Golfer. So we, our first product is the Golf Stroke Counter Bracelet. It comes in four sizes and um, it is really for fun it is really for fun golfers only it's not for ser serious golfers it's the golf wives who are having cocktails or maybe um, they're just hanging out with their friends their friend loses the ball and uh, they need to also remember their score and there are 10 beats to each bracelet because after 10 you technically really should pick up the ball so this is how the golf stroke counter bracelet works. When you're ready to play, you, uh, re uh, you reset the golf bracelet and this is your tee shot. And now you hope you're on the fairway, but you might be in the sand. 
And if you're in the sand, you know these beads might add up. Maybe they don't for you. And now we're on the green, hopefully. And this is also, okay, this is pretty good. I just got an eight and I restart now and I write down my score. Or if I don't care to keep score, I just know that it's 10 and it's time to pick it up. <laughs> you can find us on www.theclowgolfcompany.com where we carry our products and our Instagram handle is at the Cloud Golf Company. If you want to learn more about the show, visit golfdestination.tv. It's our hub for social media and broadcast schedule. I'm Meredith Gorman from the Sociable Studios, and we'll see you next time. Golf Destination is brought to you by Goslings of Bermuda. Dare to be happy. Duca del Cosma, Italian golf evolution. Avidia Bank, honest to goodness. Puka, be original. Robert Graham, be the shout, not the echo. Club Benchmarking, your partner on the path to data-driven leadership.